Just taking the boat out of the water for the winter. It's been jet washed, all the anti foul. Ready for uh, a new coat in the spring. The uh, engine leg is in the transport position. This gives me a chance to check the bellows. They all look in pretty good order. And the water tube in there. Anodes. It's quite worn, that one. And I've got this one's very worn. So I'll be replacing those in the spring. Overall, looking quite good. This anode's going to need to be changed. That is this one. Okay, I'm going to winterize the engine. Do some checks. You can see the oil's there. Still a nice honey colour. Secondly, check the strainer, the uh, raw water strainer. Put that back in. Looks okay. This is the coolant tank. Probably replace that this year. Okay, I've taken the engine uh, cabinet away. Let's have a look. On under here, this is the starboard side of the engine. And you can see this copper pipe and in that copper pipe there is a screw and there's another one there and this allows me to drain the little bit of water that's in the pipe it allows me to drain this water so that's not going to freeze over the winter Let's just let a little bit of water out there, which has gone into the build, uh, down to the bottom of the bilge, and I'll pump that up in a minute. Just let all the drips out while that's draining. I'll do the other one. Okay, that's all the all the water must be drained out of the system now. So I need to replace these, tighten them back up again. Okay, just tighten those with the spanner. Okay, now that um, I've removed the water, you can see I've got a tube heater at the back. Now that's attached to a. Uh, thermostatic uh, switch so I need to, I can set the switch so that any time the temperature goes less than seven degrees Celsius that, that tube heat is going to switch on it just keeps the engine bay warm and uh, prevents corrosion of the winter okay here's my um, thermostatic plug which I've plugged the tube heater into and it's showing that the Temperature at the moment is 10.5 degrees C and you can see that I've set it so when it goes less than 7 degrees 
that uh, the tube heater is going to come on and I'll put it onto automatic mode and it's currently showing that it's off because the temperature is higher than 7 degrees but once that kicks in under then uh, the tube heater will come on